track review. My needle drops. Anthony Fantano here, the internet's busiest music nerd. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I uh, want to say quickly before we get into this that there's a new podcast up at theneedledrop.com. have some Eddie Current Suppression Ring in there, some Crystal Castles in there. Needledrop.com. We're past 3,700 subscribers. I would write that here, but uh, my dry erase marker shit the bed. But anyway, we're on the cusp of 38. 4,000's almost here. Yeah! Okay, this is Track Review where we talk about the latest in rock, pop, electronic, and experimental music, and whether or not it's good. Sometimes this stuff is independent, sometimes it's not. <sighs> Picture of the LP that this track comes from, Full's sophomore album, Total Life Forever. These guys are a UK rock band, I would even go as far as to say they're a Brit pop band, and their debut LP uh, caused a lot of waves throughout the indie community, building them a huge following. Though I can't say they did as well in the U.S. as they did in the U.K., but with this new LP, that could be a totally different story. Turn things around. Let's give a listen to the new single off of this album. Uh, here's Foles with this Orient. Just look for a link to this uh, track down in the D-box. Huh. Another... Great tune. Great song. Great tune. All right. First off, what I want to say is if you're looking for something experimental, if you're looking for something that's going to bend minds, that's going to throw your musical inhibitions out the window and change the way you look at the world, get the f*** out. This is not what this track is all about. I mean, this thing is kind of a safe indie tune, not exactly, you know, redefining the genre, not redefining music, not redefining rock music, but still a very well-oiled, well-groomed, very mature look at that style of music, I have to say. As I was listening to this track, I just thought of a factory, just everything, a very clean factory, just all these assembly lines, things running from one direction to another direction, everything's very clean and white and plastic, and people are wearing face masks or something. I don't know. And that's because everything in this track is just so layered and tight and orchestrated and meticulous, I guess you could say. And I don't really like my music like that. Usually I like to leave a little bit of something up to chance. Usually I like to leave just a little bit of danger just hanging around. I don't know where this is going. I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, yeah, this was a, a little predictable, but the song was so good that I didn't really care whether or not I knew where it was going. The mixing and the production were fantastic. You had these fantastic, said that twice, guitar whales in the background. To me, that sounded a little bit post-rock. And also just great, great drumming, these layers of synths and these guitar arpeggios. Do, 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 do. And you hear these uh, voices there too. Ah, 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 ah. Just a lot of different things going on. Even though this thing is four minutes long, it feels a lot longer than four minutes because foals get a lot done in that four minutes. They condense a lot of stuff and still don't make it kind of feel like they're throwing so many things at you that the track is hard to process. And this thing isn't just about the song either. I mean, it's about the builds and the falls and, you know, of course the intro is pretty uh, interesting. You know, da -da 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 -da. very nice syncopation there really grabbed my attention and sort of, you know, not every band can do something that syncopated and that tight. Plus, I have to give huge kudos to the mixing job. Up until this point, I was pretty much listening to this thing on just a set of speakers, but putting this on headphones, the song kind of reminds me, I have to say again, post-rock or even that new Beach House LP in the fact that it just sounds so panoramic, like the music is going on in front of you, to the left of you, to the right of you, behind you, just, it just is all encompassing just around your head. I feel like my head was literally wrapped in this song when I put it on some headphones. Picture of this LP again, this track definitely has me more excited about this new album more than anything from the first Foles album that I heard had me thinking about this band. 
That didn't make any sense. Basically, I'm excited. Though it's not overly experimental, not going to change the way you think about music, it is a decent kind of standout moment for this kind of stuff. No matter how much coffee you pour, cream rises to the top. I think this is just a little bit of that cream. That's all I'm saying. I think this is like a strong 7 to a light 8. Strong 7 to a light 8. Uh, like I said, down there in the D-Box, check this track out. Tell me what you think of it. Are you a Foles fan? And even if you're not, what did you like about this track? What did you hate about it? And that's pretty much it. Anthony Fantano, you and me, best buds, thanks for watching. Bad Brains, Black Dots, this is not the new Autekker album. Forever.